So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. The question says the dot plots shown each represent a data set. Which of the following statements best compares the means and the standard deviations of the two data sets? So first of all, how do you find the mean, right? So the mean of a data set is the sum of all the values divided by the number of values that you have, right? So if I look at data set A, I see that this column should represent 20, right? Because I have two things that have a value of 10. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this should be 75, right? 15 times five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be 120. One, two, three, four, five. So this would be 125. And one, two, so this would be 60. So I put that into my calculator and I get 400. But then I divide by the number of dots that were there. And if we keep track of that, the number of dots there was 20. So that means the mean there is 20. So the mean is 20 for data set A. For data set B, we can do the same thing, right? There's, it looks like there's four dots in each of these columns. So that'd be 40 plus 60 plus 80 plus 100 plus 120. We add all those together. We also get 400. We know there are 20 things. So the mean here is also 20. So looking at the answer choices, it looks like choice A and B both say the means are equal. So that's definitely true. And then for C and D, it looks like there's, you know, the mean, it doesn't say they're equal. So C and D are gone. Now, in terms of standard deviation, well, what does standard deviation mean, right? So standard deviation really is a metric that shows you or tells you um, roughly how far from the mean the data points in the table or in the data set are, right? So how far away is your data? So for choice, for data set A, our, most of our data, right, is pretty close together, right? The, the extremes out here, the 10 and the 30, we only have two things there, right? Everything else, right, all 16 other points are pretty close into this 20. So the standard deviation is going to be whatever the number is. I'm not going to calculate it. But when I compare that to data set B, right, I look to the extremes. I have just as many points in 10 and 30 as I have in 15 and 25, which means my standard deviation should be more spread apart, right? Like there are more values further away from the mean. So the standard deviation for A, so SDA, should be less than SDB for the reasons that I just described, right? There are more points in data set B that are farther away from the mean, which is what standard deviation is measuring. So our answer here is yes, the means are equal. Um, looking at choice A, the standard deviation of data set A is less than yes, perfect. So choice A is the best answer. Choice B just is the reverse of that. So no, so choice B is out. So A is the best answer here.